Hello everyone, this is not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, so don't base anything I say out of these videos, I'm just doing it for pure entertainment purposes only. Um, AMC, um, you know, so here's the thing, I, I get a lot of people say maybe you should jump out, take a loss, etc, 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 okay. I understand what you're saying, you you know, you're frustrated, you, you don't think it's going to squeeze, you've lost faith, that's fine, you, you can have your opinion on things, but... In my opinion, if I feel that way, let's say I felt that way right now. I'm just hypothetically because I don't. I do do. It, I do believe that there is a squeeze still pending. Um, <clears throat> but hypothetically, if I believe that this play was shot, it's over. Um, at this point, now I'm in the red. I'm going to average down, just like I do with any of my stocks that are in the red. I'm going to average it down, and I'm going to look at the actual uh, research on it. So going ahead, um, looking in the year, you know, it's it's expected in 2024, anywhere from 15 to $6, where we're kind of bouncing around now. I think we could hit 15 down to five randomly throughout time uh, in the next year or so. But if you project it all the way up, and you average down, you keep adding shares, just like I do with any other stock when it's in the red and it's it's a longer longer hold. So anything that is in the red and it's not skyrocketing, I look at over a long term. Uh, so in the year 2027, it's projected to be at around $80 to $90 per share. So let's just say in 2027, it only reaches 70. But at that point, you've averaged it down to let's say ten dollars five dollars a share you know let's just say okay let's just say hypothetically you've averaged down to twenty dollars a share um so in 2027 you average down um twenty dollars a share by then you're holding a few hundred shares to a few thousand shares you know depending on how many you got how much you want to average down then you can do the math from there uh, and let's just say it doesn't reach 80. Let's just say you sell at $65 and you have a $20 average and a thousand shares. You can do the math and you're going to come up. So that's why it never makes sense to me to sell in the red. And in the meantime, since you don't believe this is a squeeze, you're not going to put all your eggs in the basket. You can continue to do other things in the market. Um, and you should be making money elsewhere besides the market, unless you're a fucking millionaire from the market. But you know, it's my thoughts on it. So, uh, think of it that way. That's how I look at it. This company is not going to go down. It's got the dilution. It's got, uh, even if you don't like the dilution, it's, it's going to get debt paid down that way. It's got, I've said this numerous times, they've got popcorn, um, outside of not just Walmart anymore. Um, they've got credit cards. They've got their own candy. They've got distribution of movies. They've got merch. They've got um, investments of their own. They've got um, other things in the works. And I know I'm forgetting some stuff. I'm tired. It's been a long day. Um, but that's how I would look at it. If I believe the squeeze plays over, I'm looking at the actual research of the play. I'm waiting until 2027, 2030 before I cash out. So just a thought. Have a good day. And just to reiterate, I do believe the squeeze is still around the corner. Um, and when I say around the corner, I mean it could be any day to a year or two. So that's my thoughts. Have a good day. Be blessed. Let's give it soon. Peace.